Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. We're out here with the John Deere tractor and I love this thing. It's been a life changer here on the homestead. We've also got our Woods seven foot rotary cutter. Now this thing is a hoss, it's heavy duty, it's massive. It's actually a class two implement, which means that the, uh, the attachment points are a little bit wider apart. They have a little bit heftier, beefier connections and, uh, and obviously it's made out of some pretty solid steel. The problem rises when we try to connect it to our class one implement tractor. Now this tractor will actually handle a class two implement. I don't want to, to mislead you in that. There's a, uh, a little kit that you can change out the arms to be class two arms where they have the, the larger inserts or larger little uh, knuckles for it. Uh, but I don't have that. And since most of the other stuff that I have is class one, I didn't want to go changing everything out but it is capable of lifting the class two implement and handling all that power. So herein lies the problem. We got to connect a class one to a class two. So I'll show you how we did that. The first thing that I did is I went down to tractor supply and I actually found an upper arm and had uh, the knuckles for the class one that would attach to the tractor and the class two that would attach to the uh, class two implement. Um, now this was on a longer arm. So I ended up taking the class two off of my shorter one, I mean the class two off of the longer one and attaching it to the shorter arm uh, and it worked just fine. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised by that. Uh, the second thing that I did is I went ahead and uh, these little sway chains, I went ahead and uh, tightened those all the way down so that it would have a wider stance and be able to handle the, uh, the wider implement. And then the next thing that I did was on the implement itself, I actually took off the class two little bars it actually had a uh, uh, a bar that went all the way through uh, from one side to the other i took those out completely and i installed these class one pins and they make a sleeve uh, to attach a class one implement to a class two tractor which just slides over top of the pin so that it will fit inside the knuckle itself and uh, it won't have a lot of play i just took two of those uh two of those leaves and I actually cut it down to the same thickness as the steel here and then uh, and then slid it over the threaded part so that there wouldn't be so much play. I wouldn't recommend this just for any tractor or any uh, anytime you want to do something but this was a good fix for what we were trying to do. Now the PTO shaft, that'll be exactly the same that's on the standard PTO connection point on the tractor. So you won't have to change anything on that. But man, that's always the hardest part. Now that we got that one on, we'll be able to push the rotary cutter back. Just enough to slide this one on. Lord willing, it'll work more easily than that other one. So now that we got the two arms put on, now we just need to create, uh, connect the top link, and then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go, rocking and rolling.
All right, now our class two implement is all connected to our class one tractor. Uh, it's actually still sitting at a little bit of a downhill slope. So I'll pick this up, move it to a little bit flatter ground and then uh, readjust this top arm so that it's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit tighter. Now this top arm, it does have a break in it. So if I hit a bump, it'll, uh, it'll go up or down. Won't actually uh, break the back end of the rotary cutter. I've seen some guys run chains on this, which I guess you can do that. I've never tried running a chain and they seem a little bit more difficult to, uh, to adjust. But um, with all the hills and rocks and things in this area, I see a lot of guys that are running chains on their, on their rotary cutters like that. All right, now that's cutting a lot more flat. Now we're good to go. Now we just uh, fire up the PTO and let the horses fly. <laughs> friends well i hope that you guys uh, learned something or got some bad ideas anyways uh thank you guys so much for watching if you did find this video informative or entertaining in any way please hit the thumbs up let me know that you liked it and if you've not subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing to see more of what we have going on here on the homestead and uh, i'm gonna finish up mowing these fields we'll see you guys on the next video Bye bye